Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question six. So a company makes a particular type of children's toy. The annual profit made by the company is modelled by the equation P equals 100 minus 6.25 brackets X minus 9 squared, where P is the profit measured in thousands of pounds and X is the selling price of the toy in pounds. A sketch P against X is shown in figure one. Using the model, explain why £15 is not a sensible price to sell the toy at. So if we were to put x equals 15 in, we would get p equals 100 minus 6.25 times 15 minus 9 squared. Let's just work out what this value would be here. So on the calculator, 100 minus 6.25 times 6 squared, because that's 15 minus 9 that would give us 125 pounds, minus 125 pounds, so there would be a loss, so there is a loss of 125 pounds, that would just be too expensive, not many people would buy the teddy bear or the children's toy, so no, not sensible to call it 15 pounds. Moving on to part B, given that the company made an annual profit of more than, or actually no, sorry, it's um, profit in thousands of pounds, so it's actually 125,000 pounds they would lose there. Uh, given that the company made an annual profit of more than 80,000 pounds, so therefore in that question P equals 80, because 80 is measured in thousands of pounds, according to the model, the least possible selling price of the toy. So let's put P equals 80 into the little formula, so 80, equals 100 minus 6.25 times x minus 9 squared. So let's just rearrange a little bit. Let's move that 6.25 x minus 9 squared onto the left and then move the 80 onto the right and you'll get 20. Then divide by the 6.25. Uh, 20 divided by 6.25 on your calculator. You get 16 over 5 or 3.2. Square root on both sides, and it would be x minus 9 equals plus or minus 3.2, and then add to your 9 on the other side, so it would be 9 plus or minus root 3.2. So therefore, if we want the least possible value of the toy, then we're going to pick x 9 minus root 3.2. So let's do that on the calculator, 9 minus root 3.2, and that will give us... 7.21, so 7.21, so therefore it's going to be £7.21p. That will be the least price where the company make £80,000 profit. And moving on to the final C, the company wishes to maximise its annual profit. State according to the model, part I is the maximum possible annual profit, so that would be £100,000 because if we set the squared elements to be zero, then you're going to be subtracting nothing, um, so you're going to earn £100,000 or have profit £100,000. The selling price of the toy at this maximum annual profit, that would be x equals £9. Whoops, £9. Because then x9 minus 9 is 0, so then this whole expression at the back here would just be 0, so you're going to be subtracting nothing. So it's going to be £9. And remember x minus 9 squared, that's always going to be positive no matter what x is. This is always going to be positive or 0, so the way we're going to maximise the whole expression is by taking away as little as possible, so it's going to be 9. So there we are, that's the answer for this question six here, that's seven marks in total. Let's now move on to question seven.